Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. Okay, I'm looking at this interesting Diophantine equation. The question is how to solve 57x plus 22y is equal to 400. So for this question, we will be using this nice theorem about the linear Diophantine equation. That is, let's say if we have a x plus by is equal to c. At this time, if let's say d is the greatest common divisor of a and b, right? And if this does not divide c, then there's no solution. But then again, if this d divides c, then there will be infinite limited solutions. And at the same time, in this case, let me say x0 and y0 are two specific solutions for the x and y, right? That we can find, in this case, using Euclidean algorithm. That in this case, your x and y, the solution for the x and y in general has to be x is equal to, okay, x is equal to this x0, and then plus b over d times n, and then your y in general has to be y0 plus minus, at this time, a over d times n. In this case, n has to be an integer, right? We will be using this theorem to talk about this Diophantine equation using Euclidean algorithm, right? So for this case, we have 57 as the a, 22 as b, and 400 as c. In this case, we can find the greatest common divisor of 57 and 22 quite easily, right? You can use repeated division, or in this case, I'll be using Euclidean algorithm to double check. So 57 and 22. So there's no common factor between these two numbers except for one, right? So that's why we can easily say your GCD your greatest common divisor is equal to 1. We will be using Euclidean theorem to double check this out, just for the practice, right? Then 57 is now equal to 22 times 2 plus 13. Okay, then 13. Then 22 is equal to 13 times 1 plus 9. And then 13 is now equal to 9 times 1 plus 4. And then 9 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 1. And lastly, 4 is equal to okay, 1 times 4 plus 0. So this actually makes sure that your GCD has to be just equal to 1. The GCD, the greatest common divisor of 57 and 22, this is equal to 1, right? And at the same time, this 1 can divide 400, right? So 1 can divide any number. So technically, 1 divides 400. So this will actually say that we will have infinite limited solution. So in this case, we will talk about now this 1. So now at this time, since we double checked that we will have infinite limited solutions for this Diophantine equation. It is all about now getting your x0 and y0. Two partic so one particular solution for x and y, right? After that, we can use this nice little theorem to talk about your x and y solution in general. So now we will be getting actually x0 and y0. Now let's go back and talk about this number one, which is your greatest common divisor. So we will be using actually numbers backward from this Euclidean algorithm. So 1 is now equal to okay, 9 minus 4 times 2. So we will be using those numbers that we used in Euclidean algorithm backwards, right? So now at this time, this is equal to now 9 and then minus 2 times 13 minus 9 using those numbers as much as possible. Then this is equal to 3 times 9 minus 2 times 13, right? And we can rewrite this as 3 times parenthesis 22 minus 13 minus 2 times 13. Now at this time, it is 3 times, now 22. 
This is equal to 3 times 22 and minus 5 times 13. Right, then we can actually work on this. We can actually keep going on. This is then going to be equal to 3 times 22 minus 5 parentheses 57 minus 2 times 22. Right, then this is going to be then equal to, using this number, this is equal to 13 times 22 minus 5 times 57. So in this case, we'll be using, we'll be focusing on these two numbers, 13 and negative 5, right? So that is why now your x0, your x0 is then going to be equal to negative 5, Multiply by this constant C that was 400. That is equal to negative 2000. Then your Y0 is equal to this number 13. Multiply by your C that was 402. This is equal to 5200. So these are the X0 and Y0, right? So using this, we can specify the solutions for X and Y in general, right? Okay, so we can move on and then talk about your x and y in general. So your x has to be then equal to x0 was negative 2000. And then plus now 22 over 1, which is greatest common divisor times n. This is just equal to negative 2000 plus 22n. Okay, this is your x. And then your y is equal to y0 was 5200 minus now 57, which is a, divided by your greatest common divisor was 1 times n. So this is just equal to 5200 minus 57 n. And this time your n is going to be an integer. This is the solution for this Diophantine equation. So pretty interesting Diophantine equation, and I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.